hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we can factor nine raised to power x out here and we have nine raised to power x into brackets here we have one plus one left equals to 60 from here then this same thing as nine raised to power x times one plus one does two then equals to 60 on this side and from here, we divide both sides by 2. That is, divide this side by 2. Also, divide this side by 2. That is, here, 2 cancel each other. And we are left with 9 raised to power x equals to 60 over 2 here. That is, this becomes 9 raised to power x equals to 60 over 2. That's 30. Then, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log. 9 raised to power x equals to log 30 on this side. Then, next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 9 equals to log 30 from here. Next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. Which implies here, log 9 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 30 over log 9. Then, next step here, we can rewrite 30 as 3 times 10. Which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 10 over log 9. That is, next step here, this follows from the law of logarithm. What we have log a times b. The same thing as log a plus log b. That is what we have becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 10 over log 9. That is here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 then also here we can write 10 as 2 times 5 that is all we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9 and this also follows from the law of logarithm we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9 that is here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9 then from here we can as well write 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 square plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 
3 squared then we apply the power law of logarithm that is 2 comes here also here then from here and what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3 that is here log 3 cancelled each other we have 1 over 2 left which implies x equals to 1 over 2 plus here we have 1 over 2 multiplied by log 2 over log 3 then plus also here we have 1 over 2 multiplied by log 5 over log 3 that is when we apply change of base here from when we have log a over log b which is the same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3 then we bring this together as one fraction now we have x equals to the scm here that's two and this remain one then plus here we have log two base three then plus log five base three which implies the value of x here we have one plus log two base three plus log five base three all over two then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 that is what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 then plus also 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 then is it equals to 60 on this side that is here we have same thing added together just like when we have a plus a which is same thing as 2a and here we can as well we write this as 2 times 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 from here then next step here we can express 9 as 3 square that is 2 times 3 square which is raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side that is this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other we have 2 times 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 is this equals to 60 on this side then yeah this follows from law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n which is the same thing as a raised to power m and a raised to power n that is here we have 2 times 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side that is yeah this becomes 2 times 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b 
Then here, the same thing as 2, then times 5. Is it equal to 60 on this side? And 2 times 3, 6. 6 times 2, 12. 12 times 5, 60. Which is equal to 60 on this side. But this left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.